Hi, my name is Ava DeMeo. Welcome back to another episode of CPS 360 News. Today, I have an exciting show for you guys. Last week, Global Village took over Rockbridge as many students set up booths to share their culture. Throughout the week, people were able to get henna tattoos, play games from different countries, and learn dances. The day people most looked forward to was Friday, which was the day you could try a wide variety of foods from every country. Now here's Ben Flank covering a story on an aspiring Columbia musician, Noah. Local musician Noah Cameron has been gaining a lot of steam. I asked him how his music career all got started, and his answer was quite an open I got started with music because I was playing Geometry Dash, and I really wanted to recreate the songs in Geometry Dash, so I searched up a website to do that, and then I started making music. Since his music career got started, he has worked with many singers and produced a debut album. The process for creating my debut album was just sitting down at my laptop for like 30 minutes at a time and doing whatever I could because I created most of it while I was recovering from a concussion, so I was really sensitive to light and noise. Once his debut album dropped, he started to gain a fan base and he now has 500 monthly listeners on Spotify. My friend Ben introduced me to Noah Kammer and the first track I listened to was Aster, which just really put me onto him and I couldn't stop listening once I started. Uh, his newest album, In Bloom, just has unparalleled instrumentals that just really chill me out. Yeah, I really like Noah Kammer's music. Uh, my personal favorite is his Bloom. That one's really good. Chris and Nick aren't the only ones who enjoyed Noah Kammer's debut album. After the drop, the Columbia Daily Tribune wrote an article praising Noah and his music, saying that he's up to something special, and that he has talents that are rare for any musician, let alone one in high school. They believe if he keeps working hard, he can make it to the top of the music industry. When I got the Columbia Tribune album review, it felt really amazing because um, I spent a really long time working on the album and it was great to see my work being recognized in that way. Even with all the success he's had with music so far, Noah does not plan on stopping anytime soon. My plans for the future is to study music production and audio engineering in college and then from there get, either get a job in a studio or freelance just to create music for the rest of my life. Baseball season has started among all of the high schools in Columbia. The Jamboree was held at Hickman with Rockbridge and Hickman going 1-1. One and one. Rockbridge had their first game on Saturday where they went 2-0 and o against Rolla and Republic. They faced Lebanon on Monday, the 21st. Hickman's team also had their first game on Saturday, beating North KC, but losing to Willard. Battle season has yet to start. They did not play in the Jamboree as Fort Zumwalt took their place. Many fans are excited for the rest of this season. Gas prices have sk skyrocketed within the past few weeks to, due to the war in Ukraine. Many people have struggled with paying for gas since most states are ranging from $4 to $7 per gallon. This is due to the lack of Russian oil imports and President B Biden banning Russian imports altogether. Luckily, President Biden released a statement that gas prices will now start to drop due to oil prices dropping. We will start to see relief soon enough. That's it for this episode of CPS 360. I'm Ava DeMeo and thanks for watching and see you next time.